Mayor, if re-elected, what will you do in office to help kids, specifically ages 8 to 15, to have activities to do within the town? Uh, that's been an issue. I, it's probably been an issue that's been neglected. Uh, but I think we need to get with some of the kids and find out uh, some of the stuff that they might would be interested in. Uh, things are a lot different than they used to be when I was coming up, you was coming up. But there is liability issues that come up. Uh, you can't provide everything. Uh, and like I said, it goes back to money issues. You know, uh, when you get into to doing whatever, if, if it's a, a, a skate park or whatever. You, you get into to a lot of money in, in, in insurance or whatever. So, uh, and maybe it could, maybe we could do something like it used to be done. Maybe we could get some of the industries to help sponsor some stuff and help. Uh, but the first thing is going to have to be finding out what they really want and what we're able to, to try to get them. Uh, I think it's important to find out what they want, not just doing something that uh, we feel like they might want. Because if, they're, if they don't want it, they're not going to do it. Okay. What is, in your view, of the recent controversy regarding the police department issuing traffic tickets? Would, would you handle the situation differently and explain how, if so? The way it was done that night? Um, well, let me read the question again. What is, what is your view of the recent controversy regarding the police department issuing traffic tickets? Would you handle the situation differently and explain? Well, you know, as you know, I, you know, uh, to start when I told them to back off. Uh, and, and I've done that because, uh, you know, the chief asked counsel for direction. Uh, counsel should give him that direction. They wouldn't. So I kind of stepped up and done something I shouldn't have done to start with. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I didn't feel good about it when I done it. Uh, I come home and told my wife, same thing. I, uh, some, I can't do this. Something's got to be done. You know, you send the guys to the academy, you know, they take an oath to enforce the law. Um, and that's their job. You cannot tell an officer not to do his job, not to enforce the law. Uh, and I don't know how many people know that, but you can get locked up for that. I can't sit there and tell them not, don't write no tickets. That's against the law. Uh, they took an oath to, 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 to uphold the law. So, uh, the only thing I would have done different is I never would have told them to back off. I mean, they've been writing tickets for months, and nobody slowed down. So, how's a warning going to slow people down? Uh, and it's like some of the comments that come in, uh, even on y'all side. Let the law do do their job. If people don't want to slow down, do what you got to do. Uh, I obey, you know, I obey the traffic laws, and if I don't, write me a ticket. I, I ain't gonna argue about it. When I took my driving test, I had to take a sign test. Everybody knows that if you see a sign, you're supposed to be doing that speed when you when you get to that sign. So it's not people don't know. People just don't want to do what they're supposed to do. But yet when they get a ticket, they won't complain about it. So let the law do their job and let everybody else do what they're supposed to do. Uh, it, it's a two-way thing. If people do what they're supposed to do, there won't be a speeding ticket. Just simple as that. There won't be one. There won't be anything to argue. There won't be any arguments. If they go speed limit, they go, there won't be a traffic ticket. Okay. Thank you so much. Is that enough? Yeah.